you don't want the money to go to. So we're going to just look at Brighton and Hove Albion today. Why not? And it's an event called the Star Trust. And Tracy joins us now from the Star Trust. How are you doing, Trace? I'm fine, thank you. Hi, yeah. Um, so is it is it Norvez? Is that how you pronounce your second yeah, name? Yeah, it's yeah, Tracy okay. Norvez. Tracy Norvez, a brilliant name. Um, it's, it's more <laughs> it's more like Trace, yeah. Tracy Norvez should turn into someone, uh, um, some sort of superhero. Yeah, yeah. It's all yeah. Spanish related, but um, oh. I'm actually previously a star. I've, from Star Trust. Absolutely. Um, I, yeah, that was a much easier last name. <laughs> Absolutely, and that's because you're the daughter of uh, the man who inspired the Star Trust, and tell us all about it. Well, yeah, well, basically, actually, uh, the Star Trust was set up by my brother yeah. uh, seven years ago when we lost my dad. It was set up in my dad's name. Um, and we support young people in the BM postcode with art, sports, or education. Mm-hmm. And we were very lucky to have been given a donation from Albion and the community who are very supportive with charities in our area um and with that we we've got a lot of young champions that we've got um we've been helping over the last year in sports related um things um we've got ira who um has been doing basketball Mm -hmm. and thanks to the money we managed to give him he's now in the under 17 squad and is heading out to florida um, to do a basketball camp which is really exciting and we've got a lovely young lad called nathan who basically is in a wheelchair and has been competing in races but obviously being of his age he's growing all the time he he couldn't do it anymore so we've now got him a custom-made chair on the way and he's competing in national junior championships, and he's just beaten his record, so that's very exciting. Wow. Um, we've got kayakers. Um, we've got young, um, a couple of young girls that we've been supporting, one who actually really had a lot of challenges in her life, and um, the kayaking has, is what's got her through it, and she's now doing very well. And we've got young runners. We've got a, a young lad that we've supported for the last past two years. And to be honest, the money we got from Albion uh, would have actually covered his whole year. He only asked for £1,900 the first year we supported him. And he's now in races all over from Birmingham to Wales. He's winning medals. So for us, it's turned what was a family tragedy into something very exciting. So so over 100 charities and good causes nominated by clubs who then, um, the, 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 the money from the Community Shield is what filters down in there. And this is what it's been used for. So, Tracy, yet another reason why a little football match can change something very Absolutely. important. So, um, yeah. that's, that's the Star Trust, and that's who uh, Brighton and Ovalby nominated. Tracy, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Much thanks appreciated. Thank you.